In this video, we will understand how the corporate tax declaration will be prepared according to the prepared financial statements. Corporate tax return consists of 11 chapters. The first one is the table one that contains the identity and address of the institution. Before moving on this, the information of the tax office, the provincial and district information, the type of the liability, full liability or limited liability, the taxation period in the fourth section, the tax identification number of the company in the fifth section, and the trade registry number in the declaration as the corporate registry number should be included. Then we see the part in which the company's title should be typed. The legal state of the company, limited liability company or joint stock company or other capital companies is written in this field. The code of activity is the NACE code that we previously described in tax presentations. In the declaration there is an area where we need to mark whether there is an address change or not. The information about the address of the business is filled in this field. We see that information such as country, email address, telephone and fax information should be included in Table 1. The table is totally composed of the identity and address information of the representative of the taxpayer. Table 3 contains information about the type and number of workplaces connected to the company. If there is a branch, manufacturing place, place of origin, place of sale agent or other information, it is requested that the total number of workplaces be written in total. In Table 4, we will now see parts of financial information. Losses of the past year. The important thing here is, the previous year's losses in the Table 4 of the company should be written in this field. Loss caused by the exception of 2012. Other losses in 2012. Likewise. It is requested to fill this information for each year. The second page of our declaration is devoted to earnings and base notification. It is requested to fill in the commercial balance sheet profit section. The 29th line is the line of trade balance or loss. Loss part, profit column. According to the income statement from our table for the year 2016, our company has a revenue and profit of TL 15.255. This profit is written in the profit line. In the supplements section there are expenses that are not legally accepted. Again, TL 1148.23 arising from various laws of our company has been transferred to the corporate tax statement via the income statement which has not been accepted by law. If there are any losses, exceptions and discounts in various companies but not in our financial statements, they will be shown in the lines from the 33rd to the 49th line of the declaration. A variety of information will be available here such as participation income, foreign participation earnings, foreign participation shares of full-fledged joint stock companies and sales earnings. In the 50th line, some of the profit in additions is requested. In addition to line 29, the sum of lines 31 and 32 is required. 29, 31 and 32 According to our financial statement, the total value of these profits and additions is TL 16.40323. There are exceptional losses in the current year in line 51. In our statement it is zero. The line 52 received when line 50 is removed from 51. If there is loss, it is required to write in this line. Line 53 is the line of profits in our financial statement. Other past year losses. Past year losses exempt from the previous year's losses due to the exception and the difference between line 53 and line 56. Also calculated as 16.403.23 teraliters. The line from line 58 to line 72 is reserved for the deductions and discounts to be deducted if there is a profit. Thus, we have completed the second page of our corporate tax return. On the third page of our declaration, in case of any profit, the exemptions and discounts will take place. 
in the event that there is profit from line 58.
The line in which the corporate tax must be paid, tax that must be paid after the deduction of tax deduction, a corporate tax line or a temporary tax return. Corporate tax. Calculated corporate tax minus temporary tax difference is shown here. It is required that the difference amount must be written in line 100 after the advance tax 98 must be removed from line 99. Table 7 is for additional information. These are R&D reductions, which are transferred to next year, and discounts issued by various laws will be included in the table of additional information. We have also completed the third page of our corporate tax return now. The last page of our declaration is for the areas where the information in Table 8, Table 9, Table 10 and 11 are written. Table 8 consists of stamp tax information, balance sheet included in the statement, detailed income statement or business account summary. For the declaration, 788.50 Corus in 2016. 45.40 in 2016 for the detailed balance sheet, and the 2180 crews stamp for the detailed income statement, a total of 145.70 crews stamp taxes written here. The ninth